Hello, I'm Martin Cross and I'm introducing my website whatistheshapeoftheuniverse.co.uk to busy people. So a brief introduction, let's kick it off as if we were coming here from scratch. There's a cheesy fanfare, obviously, to go with my lovely graphic here, which when it finishes gives way to quite a long video about about a subject of that may be of interest uh, alongside the the main topic of discussion there are actually two main topics of discussion so the the first is the issue of proof so we are um, offering uh, the answer to the question what is the shape of the universe in the form of a show and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Alternatively, for people who are interested primarily in truth, i.e. non-scientists, we're offering a range of content. Now those people might be interested in the ideas, they might be interested in getting involved in the project, they might be interested not in the ideas but just in what who the heck I am and what the heck it's all about uh, so fitting it into into place the introduction um, is on top of the main content so over 20 30 years I've been building up the basis of presenting the show so the show is is a lead-in to books, essays, further videos, possibly even magazines. And as promised, there are no ads, there's no agenda beyond truth, and there's no BS. That's a brief introduction. Let's get to the meat of the matter. Now, as you can see here, you can jump directly to the content from this map. If you don't, if you follow through the presentation, then you've got a choice. You can either enter as a as a scientist and a potential attendee to the show to get the answer to the question, or you can enter as a fellow philosopher. All philosophers are are created equal. I'm going to start by going in through the most relevant side and if I click here you'll see a little friendly invite because obviously I'm, what, I'm, what I'm concerned to do is to try and break the ice and to uh, manage the user's experience a little bit so that they're comfortable and feel unthreatened. So we say OK to that. That takes us to the first page. We see the same thing on most of the pages. We see an attempt to engage interest. We see various alternative routes through the same information and we see the meat of the content in 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 the order so on this page the key information that's being presented is that the shows run until 2025 because on 2025 the whole thing gets published lock stock and barrel until 2025 you've got an opportunity to tell me the shape of the universe and that's what I mean by giving you a chance to provide your answer we'll look at that secondarily so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through quite quickly a, a intro to the site as, as a whole and then I'm going to come back and drill down into these into these uh, further bits for those who are interested there's a little bit of discussion about what it means to say the shape of the universe and that's not my opinion that's just me reporting what other people have, have have said about it we've got two options which is to go back because we find we're not in, we're not ready for this yet for whatever reason we actually want to hop across to the videos or we can continue on to the second page of the physics introduction before going to the site, going to the main site. 
these links offer a way to jump across the path as well for those who might want to do that uh, but I won't go into those yet I will continue to the show now here's the information about the shows so the very first show was in 2014 I believe and you can see that the re at the end of the show I ask the audience a question the question is the most important part of the show for me because the question is have I said anything that's factually incorrect if I have said something that's factually incorrect then clearly that is the end of the whole project that's the end of that th there'll be no more shows after that if I haven't said something that's factually incorrect I can go on and ask the second question which is have I persuaded anybody and it was very pleasing to me that on the very first show I presented the as you can see from the rather grainy footage there was more than a majority um, who 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 found themselves persuaded by what I had to say now this approach allows me as a non-physicist to stand a reasonable chance of getting heard because I can't possibly submit any form of writing that will pass peer review and get published in a in a science magazine for reasons which I which are um, if not obvious certainly to my mind fair but what I can do is I can go to my peers which is pretty much everybody in the world and say do you agree with me or not and if if nobody can argue with me and a reasonable number doesn't have to be a majority just a reasonable number agree with me then at that point I would have earned a hearing from the science community so that is the approach and that's why I'm going this route of presenting individual shows which are paid for so I my work get some kind of reward and it culminates in the Edinburgh Festival as being the, the 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 starting point for a larger tour assuming all this is successful uh, a, a, and all within this window I've got between now and 2025 show information well not only am I telling people the shape of the universe I'm also explaining that there's no need for dark energy or dark matter or complicated uh, implausible explanations like inflation um, it's much simpler than you've been led to understand otherwise I wouldn't be as confident as I am about the information there's some sales pitch as I think of it there's some uh, interview information about the background to the project and most importantly there's the money back offer because if anybody does say no you're factually incorrect and the majority of the audience says yes the person who said that is correct and I'm not then everybody in the audience needs to get their money back at that point because what's been offered has not been delivered so at that point you've seen your your at that point you've had the introduction and you're ready to enter the site thank you for participating a little bit of confirmation of what it was I was trying to do there again to make you feel comfortable and to put people at their ease and then okay that and we're there we're at the site what I'll do before I discuss this in any detail I'll just go back to the beginning I partly because I can never get enough of my cheesy fanfare and lovely uh, video graphic but mostly because I want to come in through the philosophy path and just have a brief look at that before going back to the main content and drilling down a little bit so the philosophy path again a little intro just to make you confident and know what you're getting you come into here and the first thing you see is the underlying philosophical idea that I started all this with 
So uh, that is quite a brief video, unlike the earlier one, um, because it just needs to uh, put everybody on the same starting page. Once that's been viewed, then we continue on. And this takes us a little bit further down into the project. So we're now starting to develop the ideas that have been presented uh, towards the conclusion that I've reached. So a, a broader description of some of the philosophical principles and a longer uh, video. And in fact, there's more than one video I as part of this, uh, as part of this um, aspect. There's a crowdfunding pitch because I'm needing support to get to Edinburgh and there is um, some further information about how I'm going to run the project and uh, part what, I, what what's been said to other people, um, how other people might respond and so on and so forth, the usual the usual sort of admin. Having been through that presentation, we're now ready to enter the site proper, and of course, we get the normal uh, security message, and then we're into the main site, and it's the same same thing as before. So here's the the bulk of the content that's on offer in one place. So there are essays. There is a full-length book. There are videos like the one that's showing on the main front page, and there are there were ga there were plans for magazines that hasn't been done yet, so that would be TBA. You can see from the uh, approach here that there's an element of academia about these other subjects as well. So not only is there a a, co a conclusion in the in the area of physics in regard to an answer to the question what is the shape of the universe there are actually concrete contributions of truth in these academic areas most notably maths so i'm not going to oversimplify the message you're going to need to read this if you want to know what the contribution of truth is but I am satisfied that I have made a significant enough contribution of truth for these to count as of academic interest. So for example, biology, well that's the one area that none of my philosophical thinking has impinged upon, so there is no content at all in that area. But there is in these other areas. Some of them there's no contribution to truth, so in I've got some work outstanding to do, but I do believe that when I complete the music essay, which is the, the work I've set myself in the future, there will not be a contribution to truth from it. I don't have a conclusion there. Likewise with um, a, a potential essay on the subject of English, which was my probably my favourite, pro pro possibly my top subject at school no contribution in sport and dance but areas that I do want to cover as I do think I have something genuinely entertaining to offer. So that's where you want to go for the main that's where you want to go for the main content from the point of view of learning and understanding and e even disagreeing with with what I've said Let's go back and have a look at some of the content we skipped over as not being important, not having quite so much uh, spare time to look at. So if we come into the physics introduction again, wait for the page to build. Just takes a couple of seconds to, to build itself up, just to underline the message really. Now let's have a quick look at this area here and what we've got here is we've got answers in order of correctness i.e. blue 
and in order of drollness in red. So this particular answer is 4, i.e. low in order of drollness, but 2, i.e. high in order of correctness. So these are um, a little bit of a context for the question, what is the shape of the universe, in a more light-hearted vein. This is as opposed to the more serious, what actually does it mean to say the shape of the universe? And that's over here. If we jump across using the link, what we find is that that will take us across That will take us across, and actually, we're we're at the first page of the of the philosophy now, and there's no further there's no particular extra content content on this page. But if I continue, then we've already had a look at the crowdfund pitch. Let's just have a quick look at the future plans. So what we've got here. is a press pre-release, we've got an open letter, we've got various plans for future work, and we've got effectively a proposal for the crowdfunding. Some of this I haven't looked at recently because I've been very, very busy with the content of the website and making the videos. So there is some uh, catching up for me to do on here. But it's all in progress, it's all good. Well, that's really an introduction to all of the content on the website. And like I said, I was keen to keep it brief because you're busy, I'm busy and time is valuable. I hope that helps. I hope that piques your interest and makes it and makes the, uh, the the purpose of the site a bit clearer and more visible. And I hope you'll come and visit. That would be great. Don't forget all of this information is offered completely free of charge because what what's important is the ideas and what's important is sharing the ideas and ultimately I look forward to getting feedback on them. So please enjoy and maybe you'll come to a show, maybe I'll see you, maybe I'll talk to you and maybe I'll hear from you. Thanks. Bye for now.